This is going to be the easiest, most informative tutorial on making resin ocean waves that you will ever see. All right, I'm going to show you how to 10 times the money that you can make from buying a charcuterie board from TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls, anything like that. All right, so you're going to take your resin. If you don't know which resin to use, you're going to watch this video that's up in the right hand corner. It is how to choose your resin. I use Promise Epoxy UV Art, and that is what this is. Um, it is a kind of tabletop resin. It is not to be poured thick. It is for uh, like surfaces only. And to color, I am using a gradient scale. So I'm using dark turquoise, candy blue, and turquoise luster. And to me, that adds a like when you look at water, it's deep and then shallow. And the deep parts are the dark turquoise. And then a little bit deep is the um, candy blue. And then the shallower parts are the turquoise luster. And I'm gonna show you how to add these on here so that way you can get so much depth and so much dimension in your waves. Now, I also alternate between um, these and eye candy pigments, pigment pastes. I'm gonna tell you that it does matter what you use for, for this if you're trying to do it all in one pour. All right, this white and the Cell Magic is from me. I make that. Um, I could not find a company that made what I needed for resin waves, so I made it myself about two and a half years ago. Um, yeah, about two years ago. So first, and this is towards the back like kind of outer edge, I put the dark color and then the candy blue, which is like a royal blue, and then the turquoise luster. And here I am just covering about mm, half of the board, well, about a third of the board, and then I'm gonna pull it up and I'm gonna form my waves. So you mix your resin. If you don't know how to mix resin, here is the video linked up top. Um, and then you're just gonna kind of blend and you can, you don't gotta do it like me. Let me inspire you to do your own thing, but I'm going to give you the basics so that way you have what it takes to make waves like a freaking pro. All right. So here you're going to, you see how I'm making it come up as if like the waves were coming up on the shore. That's what you're going to do. So I am blending. I like to pull dark colors up to the top and light colors back to the back. And this is like sandbars and things like that. Um, my waves, I, I have signature waves. I have signature pieces that I sell over and over and over and over again, and they do very good. And I can make six figures in a year, no problem. So I'm trying to teach you guys how to up your resin game. And this is the beginning, beginning of that. All right, so after you're done, and this looks the way you want it to look, add right there. It's gonna be halfway on the color, halfway on the wood, and this is just clear. So when you're pouring your resin, this is my white. This is from, this is my cell kit, my wave kit, okay? You can find this, I'll link it up underneath this video. Um, so you're gonna pour the clear, half on, half off. Then you're gonna pour the white, half on the clear, and half on the wood and I like to add a couple of waves back in the back as if it was you know just waves rolling up on top of each other you're gonna take your heat gun and it's gonna be about on medium heat I'm gonna link the heat guns that I have down below they come with attachments and you don't have to buy like a hundred dollar heat gun man these are like 30 bucks and I've been using these for probably about five years um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna warm it up like this, just kind of skim over it. And once it warms up, you're gonna push it back and you're gonna make it look however you want it to look. Now I do offer a full resin ocean wave e-course and that gives you like what surfaces can you pour on, what can you finish with, like what are all of your options. I also do a battle of the cells and that is like 21 different white products going head to head and showing what kind of results you get as far as lacing and um, cells. So you're just gonna push everything back like uniformly. You don't want things to look like shoddy and not connected, you know what I mean? So just kind of go over everything and then run over it with the torch. I already sprayed my cell magic on here and that is how you see all of those little 
dots right there. All right, so pop all your bubbles. Then we're gonna go in for a second layer. And like I said, I use Promise UV Art Resin. Uh, this has a high, high UV resistance, which means that white that you're using is not going to yellow anytime soon. And this has a, it can be poured up to a quarter inch thick, but I don't pour it over a, an eighth of an inch. So um, self-leveling resin self-levels at one eighth of an inch. And it's up to us to spread it out though. Okay, so that's why this is going to look so like, clean. You know what I mean? All right, so if you want to use Promise Epoxy, which I use their casting resin, their UV resin, their tabletop resin, um, their polish, their cleaner, like I use all of their stuff. So you can use code FLUIDWOOD, which is right here for 10% off. I'll also add all the links down below. Now this is a turquoise translucent dye. So it looks dark, but once you add a little bit in here, it's going to be see-through and this is how you get depth and dimension this piece right here that i'm mixing on top of can be done right now you do not have to add two layers but i do so i'm going to show you how i make my resin waves like this is my oceans this is this is my signature technique i am giving it away here if you want like a a more in-depth um, explanation of all of this. I do sell an e-course um, and I do have a subscription service over on Instagram. All right, so I'm not pulling this up all the way to the front. I am gonna do like a second layer of rolling waves. Like you'll see right here. So you, you pour it on and like I said, this is translucent. You don't wanna go too dark. You still wanna see the waves and the cells and the lacing underneath, okay? So bring this up as far as you want to bring it. Some people bring it right up to the, to the first one, and some people leave it about where I'm going. So I'm going to push it up, and I'm going to form like the shape that I want the waves to roll up into. So when you're doing this um any surface tension and that's going to be spaces where there's not resin if you don't get those out yourself they're going to stay there and it's going to be hard to get them out so just take a gloved hand make sure you use gloves um, if you don't have a ventilated area or any kind of you know air systems in your shop or your house uh, make sure you wear a respirator i will link down everything that i use in these videos and then you're going to take your torch and pop all of your bubbles. Now you can see that you can see through this, this dye, right? So again, you're going to take your cup. I like to make a point with my cup and you're pouring the clear on there. And then you're going to go over and pour the white. So this is the clear half on half off. Just follow the shape you made with the first color like that, that translucent dye. Then take your white, make a point with your cup, and follow that half on, half off. All right, so now you can hit it with the torch real quick. I like to do that, it warms it up so that way it's easier to move. And then you're going to start heating it up with your heat gun and pushing it back. Now, I don't do my second layer the way I do my first layer. There's a couple of things that I do differently. They're a little bit more sporadic. They're not as thick as the first layer. You will see exactly what I'm talking about as I do it, though. So you can have your heat gun on high. You can have your heat gun on low. You can add the flat attachment. You can add the small, like, kind of... Um, concentrated attachment it it more concentrates the air to one area i use pretty much all of them i don't know it just depends on what kind of waves i'm going for all right so i do like to push my waves over the back now as you can see the white that i provide it actually um creates cells and lacing on its own but when you pray when you spray cell magic over top of it holy crap dude like that is freaking amazing now you see that right there that is surface tension and no this is not an oil-based product at all this is not oil-based if you ever use an oil-based product then you know that that can mess up your resin stuff like really really easy they have like dimethicone oil and silicone oil and things like that i don't recommend putting that into your pieces 
at least not a lot of it, um, maybe one drop, but it's really, really thick. And I don't do that to waves because it just doesn't look realistic. So take a gloved hand, poke your little surface tension spots and hit it with the torch. All right, so that is it. That's, that's what I do for my waves. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to finish the bottom of this. So you don't wanna leave a torch on here too long. Um, give it 24 hours to cure, flip it over, and then I use these little files. Yes, I use a sander as well, but if you try to sand these drips, it's going to rip your sanding pad. And I'm not talking about the sandpaper that's 50 cents a sheet. I'm talking about the actual pad that's on your sander. And I have a Festool sander, actually three of them, four of them, and I don't want to ruin my pad. So I take the file, I grind those down so they're not sharp. Resin's really, really sharp if you're not careful. Um, and then I sand everything off. So I start out at about 80 grit for these really rough, it's either 80 or 120, depending on what, what your bottom looks like. Yes, there's my puppy. You see my puppy? That's Sadie. <laughs> uh, yes, you can tape your bottom. You can do all that stuff. I don't like doing that. You will not see me doing that when I do my pieces. Um, I've done it for people to know how to do it, but I don't like doing it because it leaves an edge that can be easily peeled upwards. I always finish sanding at 220 unless I'm polishing resin, which I'm not doing here. And then I take my wood butter. If you wanna make your own, I will link up top the recipe that I make my wood butter. I have a lemon recipe and just a regular uh, beeswax and mineral oil recipe. So I'll link that up top. And then I finish my boards with that. So this is sourced from local beeswax. I, I, can, I used to buy it off of Amazon. Um, I'll link all of that here in the description and the video. Uh, it's really easy to make. I just grab a crock pot. I have one for the shop and this is what I make my stuff in. I actually offer a two ounce tin of these when I sell my wooden uh, charcuterie boards, which this is considered a wooden charcuterie board. Um, I like people to cut on one side, which is this side. These are my reversible boards. So cut on one side, serve on the other. I don't believe people should cut into resin. I don't care if it's food safe or not. It is not edible and it is a plastic. So you shouldn't eat resin. And if you cut into it, you run that risk. And that's one of the reasons I do not add tape on the bottom because that can, um, that can up the risk of like chipping away at the sides and things like that. So do what you want to do. I don't do it. I've been doing this a very long time. I don't do it. All right, I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, press that like button, share it with one of your fellow resinistas, um, follow. I am trying to put out regular content. I've been doing this a really long time. I am, I do wedding preservations. I do big, this is gonna be a huge ocean. So um, I do the candy tables like that i do skateboards this is a wedding flower preservation like these are wedding flowers inside of here um lego skateboards i do a lot of stuff and i want to teach you guys how to do it too so if you got something out of this video here's also a cool ass chessboard um oh 3d tumblers yo like practice on that it's a little dusty but this is my this is my take on an ursula tumbler um as far as flower preservations these are some funeral flowers in here like look at that clarity all right you guys like follow share subscribe or don't i appreciate you i hope you got something out of this video if you want to learn more and do it in depth um i will link my e-courses down below i do plan on doing an updated e-course um, actually a few of them. I want to show you guys how to make river tables and all types of stuff. So um, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And I will see you guys next time. If you have a question, if I wasn't clear on something, drop it down below. I am very helpful. I am not a gatekeeper. Um, all right. I appreciate you. Bye.